Money and Trade in Our World by Shelley Buchanan. Table of Contents. Traders from long ago. People have been buying and selling things for thousands of years. Long ago, traders traveled many miles. Some rode on camels, others sailed on ships. It took months to reach the markets. There the traders would buy and sell things such as silk and spices. Silk is a smooth material used to make clothes. People use spices to add flavor to food. There's our map key showing you the land routes and the ocean routes where they took camels or boats. Asia here, we've got Africa down here. That's called the Silk Road. Long ago, the Silk Road connected China with the West. Traders made the trip to buy and sell things. They called it the Silk Road because they sold a lot of silk. Goods and services. People from around the world still trade goods with one another. Goods are things that can be bought and sold. You can touch and hold goods. Books and food are goods. Clothes and cars are goods too. Here's a man buying a car in 1939. And here's a boy buying goods in India. People also trade services. A service is work or help that is for sale. It is a job that one person does for another person. That man's getting his hair cut in 1970. If you are sick, you go see a doctor. A doctor provides a service. Fixing a car is a service too. So is getting a haircut. And this boy goes to the doctor for help. Trade today. Long ago, trade was slow. It took a long time for goods to move from one place to another. Trade happens much faster now. Today's ships carry containers filled with goods. They can cross the sea in a week. An airplane can make the trip in just a few hours. Trucks drive goods quickly from town to town. Things move fast. This airplane carries goods, and this ship carries many containers. Today, we are linked to the people all around the world. One country can produce or make goods that other countries need. The United States produces things such as food and airplanes. Other countries produce goods that the United States needs. They produce things like oil and coffee. Countries depend on each other to get what they need. This man's working on an oil plant in the Persian Gulf. And here are coffee beans. We cannot grow coffee in the United States because of our climate, so we have to get them from other countries. And there's an airplane made in the United States. Resources. Each country has special goods it sells to other countries. Workers are natural resources from, uh, from their country. Sorry. Workers use natural resources from their country to make these goods. Natural resources are found in nature. Natural resources include wood, stone, oil, and wind. People make goods from these resources. People in other countries can buy these goods. These are wind turbines. We talked about this during social studies in the last unit. Wind power is a natural resource. Wind turbines turn the wind's energy into power that we can use. And this is men cutting logs to make boards in 1934. Natural resources. There are also human resources. These are people with special skills. They do work. Teachers and doctors are human resources. Capital resources are goods used to make other goods. Tools are capital resources. For example, a hammer helps a worker build a house. Lots of workers. Work on the Empire State Building in New York began in 1930. About 3,000 workers helped to build it. There they are. Those are human resources. This man is using tools 
to build an airplane. The tool is a capital resource. The ins and outs. Goods that come into one country from another country are called imports. Can you think of some imports? Look at the labels on some items in your home. Many will say where the goods were made. This label says that the item was made in China. Made in China. Japan produces many cars. China produces clothing. Mexico is known for its fruit. This woman makes cars in Japan. Exports are goods that one country sends to another country to sell. What a country exports depends on its natural resources. Many maple trees grow in Canada. So Canada exports the most maple syrup in the world. The weather in Brazil is good for coffee plants. So Brazil exports the most coffee. In Canada, Canada they're using these bins to collect the maple syrup from the maple trees. And this man's drying the coffee beans in Brazil, drying them out in the sun. Money matters. People buy things with currency or money. Many countries have their own currency. In the United States, you pay for goods with dollars. In Mexico, you buy things with pesos. In Japan, you pay in yen. There are more than 140 currencies in the world. This girl is holding pesos. These boys are buying pencils using dollars. There's some, a lot of other different types of money there. That looks like yen right there. Making choices. When you buy something, you make a choice. This choice will make a this choice you make affects people around the world. This is because we are all linked together through trade. If you buy a game made in Japan, you help the people who made the game. They get some of the money that you paid for the game. Wants and needs. Sometimes you buy something you want, such as a book. Other times you buy things you need, such as food. This boy wants a wagon in 1937. And this boy plays a video game that was made in Japan. We're all connected. You are part of trade. You buy things or your family buys things for you. You use money. You use goods made in other countries. What you and your family buys makes a difference around the world. Your choices matter. This girl is shopping for clothes that are made in other countries. And this boy uses money to buy a toy that he wants. This is a need, clothing, and these are wants, things that we want, toys. Count it. Many goods in your home or school were made in other countries. These might be clothes, toys, and food. Look at the labels on the things that you find. Where did they come from? Count the number of countries that you can find. This olive oil, was made in Greece. This shirt was made in India, made in India. And this computer is made in China. This bowl was made in Japan. Check out the labels on the things that you buy. It'll tell you where they come from. And here's our glossary of all the words that we talked about today. Capital resources, those are the goods used by people to make other goods. So like tools, containers are the large boxes that we put on ships. We can fill lots of goods in them. Currency is the money that a country uses. Exports are the things that we send out of our country to other countries to sell. Human resources are the people that have the skills to do the work. And imports are the things that come into our country. Imports natural resources you know things like water and wood that come from nature and to produce something means to make it a skill is an ability that someone has and traders are people who buy sell or they trade goods